Yo, what's up everybody? It's David Bredor, AKA Brilli, and I wanted to show you this really cool thing that I figured out with Octane and Vectron specifically. I've always loved Vectron, but I've never really known how to write scripts myself and so it's kind of kept me from this. I mean, I think there was one point in my career where I started with scripts and I was like, eh, this is just not for me. But this works really, really easy. I worked with ChatGPT now, along with Vectron, to create my own code to create kind of custom geometry here. So if I kick this render off, right, you can see that we've got, got just ba the basic kind of Vectron script in here with no kind of real information. But let me hop into ChatGPT with you. So inside ChatGPT, you can see that I've got like a, a long list of conversations that I've had going back and forth with it to kind of dial in on this script. But I was able to really easily land on one and some work and some don't. And you can talk back and forth with ChatGPT and said, hey, you know, that didn't work that great or with this one, this worked great. Can you give me another script with some variation to it? Uh, but it gave me this script and all I asked, I said, can you write a script so Vectron can make interesting fractal geometry? And I took and just copy and pasted this script right here and placed it inside of ChatGPT, all right? And it gave me this code. So if I were to copy this code here, go back into Cinema and in the attributes for Vectron, paste that in, you'll see here that we're gonna get this really cool, interesting script now and some really cool fractal some really basic and easy ways for this to kind of render this out as well got a, a light in here i need to move that let's delete that if you're wondering what that square is instead of that let's put in a daylight rig just so we can get some lighting and shadows and then chat gpd said you know start messing with the bailout a little bit and the power uh, to begin getting some more details and that's exactly what it does and i'm able to do this all without having to kind of write my own script and watch this if i zoom in here just so you can see some of this a little bit bigger and i increase this bailout you see that's going to add more and more kind of like intricate detail into that geometry that i can then kind of zoom into and see way more detail in here so just really cool and i feel like there's going to be a lot of really awesome ways to explore this further so i wanted to show this to you and hopefully you can make some really cool stuff out of it as well without needing to be an expert in coding and script